How's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's doing well here. Just picked this up today. Barnes & Noble's exclusive Grey Death Legion Heavy Battle Lance. I've been waiting for this one. Ever since these lances were announced. It's the first time we really get an Ill Clan mech. We also get a pretty highly sought after variant of the Catapult. We get a Jumping Shadowhawk. And we get a variant uh, Gargoyle here. Pretty good little spread of mechs here. A little bit of background about the Grey Death Legion. They're one of the first books. Oftentimes when anybody's suggesting an entry point into the, ser into the, the setting, this is the one that gets cited. And for very good reason. It's kind of the epitome of uh, Succession Wars. In succession or combat. And Grayson, the main character, was a little bit of a Mary Sue, but kind of forgivable in this particular case. I mean, going after a Shadowhawk, well, going after a Marauder and a Shadowhawk, well, that's generally not going to end well for anyone, but, uh, the idea of using an infernal launcher to scare your future girlfriend and wife into uh, giving up her Mac <laughs> gains some major chad points there. But anyway, let's get into the uh, box, what we got in the contents. We got our cards. And we got our max. Catapult K2. This variant uh, gives up the um, Alarm 15 launchers in favor of two ERPPCs. Um, featured pretty prominently in Hairbrain Schemes uh, Battletech as it was piloted by uh, Victoria. Last name escapes me, but one of the main villains of the game. Kind of for when you need PPC support, but don't uh, have a Marauder or Warhammer hand handy. The Gargoyle. I believe this variant has a whole bunch of medium lasers and a Hyper Assault Goss. Um, this is the ride of Ronan Carroll, who is the modern leader of the Great Death Legion. There's some a little bit of story about him in uh, Tamar Rising. The Regent. The reason I'm probably going to end up with two of these packs. One I'm going to paint up in white and gold and put a little Pope Miter on, so a Battle Pope. And the other, just general use of Salt Mac. This is our first Ill Clan mech in plastic, and it makes me hopeful for more in the future. Deadly mech and mimics the Hotman and the Awesome. And pretty deadly in the Ill Clan era. We got kind of the hero mech of uh, the whole Great Death Legion here. Grayson's father piloted this thing. Grayson himself did. Also Grayson's wife. Comes apart. Let you take off the little foot pad. Let you put on a... Uh, the tra the smoke trail and you got yourself a jumping shadowhawk if you want again I can't reiterate how much I like this one it's a good little spread of max still wishing to get some more with these 
some more lights in these packages. I'm loving the fact they got an Ilclan mech in here. I'm really hoping eventually they decide to do like, um, after these, they start doing modern faction packs like, uh, like a Jade Falcon pack that may have some of their more Falcon motif mechs, some of like the wolves, um, the Davian pack that has like a Templar 3, maybe like the Vulpus. Draconis Combine getting in the Tenchi. And I think this is a good vehicle to start bringing some of these mechs in. Especially since right now the only way to get a lot of them is in metal. And I actually probably should open these up, shouldn't I? We got our Alpha Strike cards. Regent's pretty darn strong. Both versions of it. Man of War. From Medium Ranger, wow. 6-6. Six, six. Catapult and of course Shadowhawk. We got our pilots. Uh, don't recognize either one of them. Ronin Carlisle, who's the grandson of Grayson, I believe. Uh, I don't recognize her. No idea. Bell Carlisle, which granddaughter, and Lori Kalmar, who one of the main characters throughout the uh, Great F books, Grayson's wife. And piloting the Shadowhawk, which she made her na name for herself in. Overall, this is a great pack. Especially if you'll pay com Combine, you'll have use for the Catapult, Shadowhawk used by everyone, Mana War, it's a clan mech, you can find a place for it, and the Regent, well it's been an export success, it's, you, you pretty much find it in any house in the Inner Spear and the Old Clan era. Yeah, I think this one's going to end up as Pope Leo's ride. All right. I've got the Snorge Regulars, the Urban Mech Pack, and the Proliferation Pack all on order. I'm just waiting for them to come in. And I probably will be reviewing them probably in the next couple weeks once, once I get them. Hoping at Gen Con we get a couple announcements of what's yet to come. Again, I'd love it if they do things like... Uh, House packs. We already know there's going to be two source books. So, um, we're just going to have to wait and see. Thank you for watching, and see you when I see you next.